everybody so a thing i learned recently is how to download custom fonts and implement them on your site via the at font face rule set in css and this is basically just another method you can use versus using a third party service and i'll be using this fake community college website to demo this in this video so you want to start by finding the font or fonts you want to use on a site like fontsquirrel.com or any free or paid font distributing website that you wanna use. And in this demo, I'm gonna be searching for a font for the headings and a font for the body. So for the headings, I'm gonna be using Sink and Sands and for the body, I'll be using Cabin. And once you find the fonts you want, download them and then you'll unzip the files. And you may notice that some fonts may have multiple variants available and you can use them all or just select the ones that you wanna use. So next you wanna generate the required code and you can go to Font Squirrel's web font generator and upload the fonts. And then once you have the fonts uploaded, agree to the terms and then download your kit. And once the kit is downloaded, you wanna unzip it, and then you'll save the kit in your web directory. So I have the web directory open here to the right in VS Code, and I'm gonna drag the web kit over, copy the folder, and so now we have the web kit in the web directory. And for this demo, I've saved the web font kit in the root directory of the example, but of course, you should save it where it's best for you. So the folder of the web kit will contain two versions of each font, a demo HTML file for each font, as well as a stylesheet.css, and this is where you can actually grab the font face code. And actually the demos that you see here are a cool way to preview the fonts. So if I go to one of the demos here, you can see the cabin regular font in various sizes and paragraphs. And same thing with Sink and Sands. You can see Sink and Sands and how it looks as well. And it's probably best to rename the directory something simple like fonts or something like that. So I'm gonna name it fonts. Of course that broke that because we're in a directory is different now. So we're gonna go ahead into the web font kit style.css because again, this is where you're gonna find the rule sets to place in your own style sheet. So you wanna take the ones that you'll be using, copy them, and you wanna go to your style sheet and place them at the very top of your style sheet um, before any other CSS because they will need to be imported before you can use them on your site. And I'm actually gonna write a comment and for fonts, paste. And you also will need to uh, adjust the file paths as well appropriately. So we have it in a folder called fonts. So I'm just adding that in so they can actually be found. And another thing is you can actually rename the fonts something simple. Since I only have one variant of each, I can just name this cabin and then name this Sinkin' Sands. The reason why is because the most important thing is the URL, the actual file. So no matter what you name it, it will still be able to find that font. But I'm gonna keep it, of course, the same name, just a different, just kind of something shorter than what it was before. So now you'll be able to use the fonts just like any other font. So I'll start with the body and I'll add a font family. Oops. Cabin. And also it is, of course, best practice to still add in the appropriate fallback in case the font doesn't load for some reason. And you can usually find the fonts classification from the fonts download page. So you can see here, 
cabin is a sans serif font. And so next I'm gonna go ahead and add in the heading font. So that's sinking sans and then a fallback of sans serif. So as of right now, you can see that the community college website pretty much just has a generic font applied to it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the code over here um, so that we can see the new fonts being applied. Okay, so cool, now we see the new fonts implemented. Another thing I discovered recently is that Firefox has a cool feature where you can see the fonts being used on a web page when you inspect the page. So I'm gonna inspect it. So if you look over to the right in Firefox, you can actually see the fonts being applied and it also shows you where they're being applied. So that's a pretty cool feature in Firefox. And um, if you wanted to just try the font out, you could. So that's a pretty neat thing I learned recently. Also, if you'd like to learn more about this topic, such as browser support and just more info in general, I've linked an article from MDN in the description. And one thing MDN does mention is that it's even supported by older browsers such as Internet Explorer. So that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this demo and I'll see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.